Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is part two of the uh, delivery optimization options within Windows 10. And we're going to look at something that is changed over time but always been there in some way in the past few versions. Now they are improving the way that it actually is chosen. So in delivery optimization of Windows updates, you have control over how much bandwidth the updates take in the background. So, you know, when you use your PC, Microsoft issues an update. One of the things that happens is that while you're using your PC, you don't see it. But in the background, the updates might start downloading. So that has an effect. It can have an effect on your internet speed. It can have an effect uh, if you're a gamer. You, you you know don't necessarily want to have a gigabyte update download while you're uh, you know playing online because it might mess up your gaming or you know whatever you're doing. You're watching videos, looking at watching Netflix. You don't want that interference maybe. So there's a way to actually choose how it's done. Same thing also for the bandwidth side because if you have a data cap on your internet connection. You might not want to have too much data every month for Windows updates because it's going to, you know, drive up your um, data cap or uh, exceed and maybe you'll have, you know, uh, some uh, extra to pay. Uh, a lot of people have very small data caps on their internet connection. So if you go into the Windows settings, go into update and security and on the left side, delivery optimization go down and click on an option called the advanced options so here you will see what the download settings and upload settings are you have data caps you have uh, percentages what do they mean so here goes in the download settings you've got two settings that are possible you can limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the foreground the background while you're doing something else the foreground is you click Windows update and you're watching it do its stuff um, basically that percentage means if you are doing something else how much of what is available should I be using by changing the slider and you know putting it uh, smaller or bigger. So here if I put little check marks, these sliders come alive and you can actually change the bandwidth level. So you can say, well, while I'm using the internet and doing other stuff, I can, you know, I don't want more than 20% of my bandwidth used, which means there's going to be very little impact on your internet connectivity, for example. It might also have an impact, a lower impact on your PC's speed while you're using it. The other one is the foreground. So if you click Windows Update and you look at the updates downloading, of course, you technically aren't doing really anything else. But that said, you might be doing things on other computers around your home. Or maybe your smart TV is watching, you know, videos or so something. Well, that will impact other devices around your home. So you might want to say, well, you know, I want to download this but at you know a lower bandwidth than usual because I do other things on the internet and I don't want to have an impact so that's the two options here in the download settings you can lower the impact basically the lower the percentage the lower the impact of downloading updates on your overall internet connection and network now that also means less uh, bits downloaded so take much longer for the data to actually download to your computer so the lower the bandwidth the longer it will take for these updates to eventually arrive and install so that's the thing I keep it off because I keep it kind of default the computer just generally downloads whatever and that's it and I personally because of my higher bandwidth and and what I do here uh, it never really interferes much with my other um, you know um, my other activities if you want now upload settings the upload settings will limit how much bandwidth is used for uploading 
updates to other PCs on the internet. If you have activated that option, it will actually let you choose how much, how much um, bandwidth you want to use for sending out uh, to the internet. Now, if you, of course, unchecked uh, in the previous page, as I was saying in the last video, if you haven't uh, chosen PCs on the internet option, because I have chosen only local network personally, that means that that option isn't valid. You don't have to choose it. But if you decide to leave it on for internet, you might want to play around with how much bandwidth is going to use on the internet. And finally, the monthly upload limit. If you have a data cap, you might want to simply say how much you want to upload in that um, every month in the amount of data. Now, notice that there's no slider or no setting as to download limit. A lot of people are complaining about that because they would like to have a download limit also. Like say, you know, oh, I don't want updates to take more than five gigabytes. Especially if you download a feature update. Those feature updates are often, you know, three, two, three, three and a half gigabytes. And if something goes wrong, you might have it download two or three times and then you're, you know, stuck with 10 or 15 gigabytes that maybe you didn't want to, uh, you know, use on your data cap. So uh, that's something that's missing that would need to be there. A monthly uh, limit on the download also. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. If you're not uploading to the internet, the upload settings are useless. They don't, you know, they, it's sad because here, if you choose not to upload to the internet, this setting, upload settings, should be grayed out. But Microsoft being Microsoft, it doesn't. So it leads you to believe that it still does it. So um, just, you know, make sure that you don't choose the option on the other page to download or upload to the internet. And um, make sure that uh, once that is chosen correctly, well, don't touch it. Uh, upload settings, just leave them alone. Uh, it's not going to interfere with anything. But yes, I uh, totally agree that there could be a download setting, uh, download limit. That would probably be a good idea also. And remember, if you have multiple PCs on your home network, that that doesn't count in your data cap because it's an internal network. So the PC on your network is sending that to another PC on your network via your router. So it's not counted on your data cap of the internet. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.